Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about a big interview Melissa Benoist just did with Entertainment Weekly earlier in October, but it was just released right now. So we're going to be breaking it down and talking about everything. She actually talks about a lot and she addresses her returning as Supergirl in the future, which we've been waiting for an answer for a long time. So obviously this is big breaking news we have to break down. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be breaking it down. I'm not going to be going through the article chronologically. I've pulled out snippets from the article that I want to discuss in this video and potentially we will discuss more in future videos because she does address a lot throughout the article. But we will begin with Melissa talking about the last weeks of filming Supergirl. So I quote, she says, I definitely felt a different kind of closure when we wrapped on set. Very bittersweet. I felt all the emotions you could feel in the last two weeks of shooting that show, but I think once the final episode airs and I know I really don't have to go back up to Vancouver to shoot, that's when it'll probably set in. Also she goes on to say, I don't know if I was ready to say goodbye to the characters, which I think is healthy. You always want to be sad and miss something. And I'm so glad that I didn't have that, oh my gosh, I'm so ready feeling of just wanting to throw it away and not think about it again. I definitely will miss playing the role, but I was ready for a break personally. So let's talk about some of this. So Melissa talking about the last week's filming, of course she was very conflicted and she definitely needs a break. I mean, I said this in the stream the other day, but pretty much look at it as if like say you're at a job it's the same job you do the same thing every day obviously for Melissa it's filming every day for long hours it will become long and it will become tiring without proper big breaks and frankly they don't get a big enough break for filming like the whole year so I get that people you know working on these film sets pretty much all year round get incredibly tired and need that break and so in the case of Melissa it's totally normal because it's just a normal thing that people have when they're doing a job for a long time. So I'm sure some of you guys relate to that. But in regards to her leaving Supergirl and leaving the character behind, as she says, she isn't quite used to the idea yet, especially because the episodes are still airing, so there's still talk about Supergirl. But when that final episode airs, that's when it will probably set in, she says. And I think the same thing goes for us as the audience because, yes, they've stopped filming and Melissa is in LA, she isn't in Vancouver filming Supergirl anymore, but we've still got it on the air, so we still feel like Supergirl is around. But when that final episode airs, we're going to realise it's over and all we have is the past episodes and we'll have to go back and look at them because we're not going to get anything new unless she returns. And now... Talking about her returning as Supergirl in the future, she goes on to say this in the article, which is definitely the calling point that I really wanted to talk about in this video. EW says, that being said, she doesn't think this break will last forever, and she's open to throwing on the cape again in the future. So Melissa goes on to say, I am not opposed to putting on the suit again. And I know there will probably be opportunities too, she says. It would have to feel right for the character and I know they would probably do it justice. I love playing with Grant Gustin, I love Tyler Hoechlin and Bitsy Tulloch on Superman Lois, so no, I'm not opposed to it. So yeah, this is the big thing, so this is her actually acknowledging the idea of returning as Supergirl and she knows there will be opportunities to in the future and she specifically says I'm not opposed to putting on the suit again. So the idea of her returning is definitely a possibility and she knows it and she will definitely consider it. But from this I will say yes, it's great news that she definitely will consider coming back but don't hold out hope that she's going to return in like the next crossover or the crossover afterwards. Although she may be offered it, maybe I feel like it's going to be like a two year gap maybe between the time that she goes away obviously with the series finale, and then the time that she maybe comes back as Supergirl, I think would be a couple years from now because obviously she's got her deal at Warner Brothers Television, she's going to be producing TV shows and films for HBO Max and stuff like that. Also she will be doing stuff elsewhere, maybe going to Broadway, but I reckon she's going to still be pretty busy to do that. But I think the idea of her bringing up Grant Gustin, returning to The Flash potentially in the future, and talking about Superman Lois and the fact that she loves Tyler and Bitsy and Superman Lois is really cool because Bitsy has actually talked about the idea of Melissa returning and coming on as Supergirl on their show. 
and obviously that would be extremely fitting because Superman and Lois at the end of the day, as I've said many times, is a spin-off off of Supergirl because that's where Tyler Hoechlin first showed up. So in conclusion with this part of the video, I do think she's going to return at some point. It's definitely a possibility and it will probably be in the crossover and it will be kind of a necessity that she returns. And it all kind of depends on where she goes, like, is she going to go to the future? Is she going to go to Argo City? Where is she going to be when the series ends? And does it make sense to bring her back? And obviously this is what she acknowledges here, talking about how, you know, they have to do justice to it. And it has to feel right for the characters, so they will have to work around whatever Supergirl's ending is to properly bring her back in the right way. But if she does come back, it'll probably be on The Flash or Superman Lois. So let's move on to the next thing. So this is Melissa talking about her favorite memory from the Arrowverse crossovers. Obviously she's been a part of many. The first crossover she was in was with The Flash with Grant back in Supergirl season one, the world's finest crossover. Obviously that was like the stage setter because people weren't sure was Supergirl in the Arrowverse or not. Turns out she was on Earth 38 and she's part of the great Arrowverse in the multiverse. And obviously that was because the show initially aired on CBS rather than the CW, but then it transferred in season two. And then she was in like all the crossovers past then. So this is her favorite memory from the Arrowverse crossovers. She says, do you know what's so funny about the crossovers is that they were crazy and insane and so frantic and hectic and chaotic, but I had so much fun doing them. All my memories are just of laughing with Grant and Tyler and Stephen and Mel, just laughing our butts off and getting so slap happy and delirious and just having the best time. There was an electric energy there and one of my favorite moments too was when Grant Gustin and I were running in a scene during Crisis on Infinite Earths and it was a group of us and I said, what if we just speed walked because I don't feel like running anymore and he speed walked and that guy is actually abnormally fast. I've never seen anyone as fast. It was incredible. So it's great to hear our favorite memories. Obviously we all have our memories as viewers. Probably we would pick out specific scenes and in the case of the actors and the people working behind the scenes, of course they're gonna talk about like the funny moments on set. And you know, some of this stuff was in the gag reel. I believe we saw some of this that she was talking about. And yeah, it all is great and it's obvious that they had a good time, but even in the midst of a crazy crossover and you know, they're filming on all the shows, it's incredibly packed in terms of scheduling, but it's great to see that they still have fun. So talking about Melissa becoming Supergirl at first, this is what she had to say. I had to learn to walk as a superhero because I was certainly not carrying that physical strength because I didn't believe that I was going to be that strong at that point in time in my life. The more experience I had on the show, and the more experience I had in my personal life that sort of informed my growing into being more comfortable with conveying things like that, like strength and fearlessness and courage and bravery. And she goes on to say, I'm really proud of the story that I feel like I was telling as Kara and as Supergirl, where it was a discovery of herself as one whole person. And I found that really empowering, and it was a journey that really resonated with me that I feel like I also went through simultaneously while working on the show. So again, this is her discussing the early period of becoming Supergirl and stepping into the superhero shoes. And I'm pretty sure we can all say she did a great job. And you know, this is why Supergirl is appearing in the Flash DCEU film. I don't think without her, she would have been nearly as popular. And that's why people are excited. And also people are excited of the idea Will Melissa one day show up in the Supergirl film when the event she gets made? It's definitely a possibility and it's definitely an influence. Even Sasha Kale, who is going to play Supergirl in the Flash film and potentially her own future project, has said she is heavily inspired by Melissa and she posted a couple of posts watching Supergirl in preparation for the Flash film. So you can tell there is definitely something going on there and she's definitely done her job in the right way if she's influencing these future portrayals of the same character. Okay, so this is Melissa and this is a final quote I have for this video on her final days on the set and some returning cast members. So she says, the last week on set was really intense, really emotional, really joyful and fun. We had a lot of cast come back and playing with those guys again made me really happy. It was so, so good to see Macabre Brooks it was also wonderful to see Jeremy Jordan and my husband Chris Wood come back as their own respective characters. 
which made me really happy as well. And there were days where it was a big group, everyone that I've just loved so dearly, that has become like family, those days were great. And then there were days where it was tedious and difficult, and those were the kind of days where I'd be like, ah, this is why it's good that it's ending. But it was just kind of a melting pot of every single thing I could possibly feel happening in five days concentrated. So yeah, it's interesting that she brings up that last point of the fact like this is why it's probably good that Supergirl is ending because obviously she needs that break and that's definitely what she's inferring here. But it also shows and I think it's quite brave to come out publicly and say that yeah, it was a good show and it was great making it but there was some days where it was really difficult to make it actually properly happen and I guess it was a lot of hard work and it definitely seems like it was. So, but in regards to the rest of the cast coming back, obviously it's great to see Chris Wood come back as Monel, McCarb Brooks as original cast member James Olsen, also Jeremy as Winshot, and it seems like she and all the rest of the cast members were very happy to all kind of gather together as one big group. Obviously they weren't able to do that during like the heights of the pandemic and all the restrictions so now with all of them back for the finale it obviously was like one big reunion so that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment it really helps out the channel if you do that subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos also you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later Goodbye. I see room.